welcome on uh, online lecture series in wireless mobile communication uh, today we are having a talking outdoor propagation model uh, in previous lecture we already seen the outdoor propagation model uh, longly rice model and akumura model so continuation in akurma model uh, today we having the, uh, some more uh, specific topic uh, to add a korma model so uh, there are so many students who are not uh, seen the previous uh, lectures now i am taking the first of a brief uh, recap uh, for this uh, topic then we are taking the outdoor propagation model so radio propagation model having a definition the uh, radio propagation is nothing but it is a empirical mathematical formulation and it having the certain function of uh, characterization uh, for uh, frequency dist and distance and other conditions the other condition is a specific condition which lies in between transmitter or receiver in a free space path that is environmental uh, scatters which are in the form of either land or you can say uh, tall uh, buildings mountains rivers bus trees etc so why we are going to formulate propagation model because the model help in predicting the behavior of the radio propagation under in this different constraint and we uh, go for to uh, predict the path loss prediction determines the effective coverage area of the transmitter to understand how the radio waves are affected by a uh, three types of phenomena first is reflection refraction and diffraction in reflection the when the wave bounces from the uh, any surface back towards the source and in refractions uh, waves are defective when they are go through a substance like a, a, a like a buildings malls or uh, other things they generally change the angle of its general directions and diffraction is taking place when there is a sharp cut is uh, geometric uh, uh, view are or you can say uh, shadow is present when the wave goes through the small hole and has a flattered out the geometric shadow of this uh, uh, slit so one can hear the sound corner because of the diffraction of the sound waves observations uh, absorption is taking place when the uh, light is uh, propagating in a this free space uh, uh, medium and it will be absorbed by uh, like waters and other things so the <coughs> amplitude of the uh, original wave is uh, shorter than as compared to uh, whatever the sending waves are uh, sending from the transmitter towards the receiver so that's this is called the attenuation so attenuate attenuate means the waves are actually distorted during the propagation they are not exactly fell on the receiver side polarizations it is the property of uh, certain types of elect, uh, waves that describe the orientation of your oscillations so <coughs> it, uh, in our wireless mobile communications polarization is taking place 0 to 180 degrees and after that there is no polarization is taking place only this 180 degree polarization is having the different types of the phases <clears throat> so the this uh, multiple components of waves are having the uh, similar as uh, in a in a count in uh, you can say in uh, amplitudes but it is differ from its phase so electromagnetic waves such as light gravitational waves exhibits the your polarizations uh, another phenomena is the scattering scattering is the some form of radiation such as light sounds are forced to 
deviate uh, from the start trajectory by one or more localized uh, non uniformity in the medium therefore uh, they are passes and they are scattered in a free medium in all possible directions it becomes important to understand the system operation to achieve the required signal intensity or the quality of the service now continuation in the radio propagation model <coughs> we are uh, now today our uh, topic is outdoor propagation model outdoor propagation model is uh, viewed in uh, in this in this pictures uh, there are the two uh, uh, several transmitters are situated in uh, this geographical views and one is there is a, a antenna which is uh, receiving your transmitted signals so this free space zone is divided from surface of the earth uh, towards to the uh, uh, in a, uh, up directions it having the three uh, medium three layers of medium in atmospheric uh, field or regions the first region which is from our surface uh, to uh, taking the 16 km distance uh, in a atmosphere that layer is known as tropospheric region ya layer from earth surface to uh, around 50 to uh, 400 km that region is known as ionization layer or regions uh, so the near to the earth surface is uh, tropospheric uh, regions are scattered the uh, transmitted waves so the waves are strike in this region the uh, atmospheric molecules atoms ya yeah, ions are scattered this waves in a different uh, waves uh, or this waves are split in a many uh, one waves are split into the uh, multiple components of the wave signals and they approaches towards your uh, receiver end we are believing agar if we you have seen the my previous lectures the free space uh, propagation is only due to line of sight like this directly send uh, towards your uh, near tower and it is travel as straight path when the path is not a straight and it's uh, reflected ya other phenomena is scattered ya diffractions is taking place uh, during the course of uh, transmission and receiver so the when the uh, waves are <coughs> reflected bounce like this they are called the reflected waves and this uh, waves are also known as non line of sight non los in short form and l o s so this is the uh, non nano side reflected waves this is the line of sight waves that is nothing but l o s this is the one type of n l o s due to diffraction phenomena this is the multiple Uh, component is split in uh, the single component it is split into the multiple uh, signals components and that uh, is uh, having the los suffix may l minus 1 this is l minus 1 started from the i so such type of uh radio waves propagation is called outdoor radio propagation now move towards the our next slide so the radio propagation model having the certain types of the characteristics 
In the above diagram, we have seen the radio wave propagation in counter derange path obstructions atmospheric conditions. They cannot be modeled by a single mathematical formula to determine the exact loss. So in this view, we are having the resultant of some of all these multiple component and we modeled into the different model to exist for different radio path loss, yeah, pa uh, radio path under the different conditions. So the radio propagation model focus on determining the path loss by assumption of certain conditions and modeling the distribution of signals over different reasons that allow to understand the coverage area of the transmitter. So development of the methodology, uh, it is uh, uh, divided uh, into uh, certain things. One is the how we have uh, model our uh, this radio wave propagation. So the propagation model, if mod uh, it really implemented, they implies that the empirical in nature. So they required a large collection of data. If the uh, we are going to collect this la large type of different uh, uh, signals uh, data in a different different uh, locations, then it becomes more uh, accurate when we are going to find out the uh, our predictions values. Uh, generally, uh, our uh, this free space path is divided into hexagonals and it, the smallest unit is the microcells. So they are divided into the similar smaller uh, size of the microcells. So the microcells are generally large providing the uh, 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 providing a coverage range on the order of kilometers and used for outdoor communications. Uh, several times we have seen that uh, this empirical path loss model has been determined for macro cells. So uh, different models are developed under a different different conditions and that is as follows. Uh, first of all, uh, we already seen the indoor application now see the outdoor applications the outdoor application is started from the ground wave propagation models sky wave propagation model so uh, long uh, this propagation sky wave propagation model can be viewed like uh, if consider this is the our earth and shown by this hatches line and it is the earth is having a certain curvature so it is the, in a curved form and we put our transmitter and here we put our receiver so symbolically symbolically it is the Trans transmitter and this is the receiver. If waves are uh, send and they goes to straight and received by the receiver then such type of uh, transmission is known as line of sight but in practically our earth is having the curvature any curve area so we cannot say the line of sight uh, are taking place when we are putting the transmitter and receiver and that particular geographical area. 
certain types of the height of the antenna and the other uh, factors are also influencing the transmission of your radio waves so it is not easy to transmit easily to uh, send your uh, transmission towards your receiver so uh, this free regions having the others some specific environmental effect that environmental effect also taking into the consideration when we are going to model the outdoor propagation model this environmental effect are weather air flow raining the like uh, your dust particles others uh, human made buildings trees malls lamp post uh, fog this is the specific environmental and that also play important uh, play uh, play important role to uh, uh, in the form of obstructions to flow of the transmission so whenever the weather is uh, going to down that means our transmission is also not properly taking place and in this uh, types of uh, environmental effect also be taking into the our consideration so the outdoor application is also having this types of the uh, multiple components data so when indoor plus environmental specific data are combined they are becoming very huge collections of the data that's why we are uh, choosing the uh, <clears throat> modeling the uh, in, uh, this uh, uh, radio propagation model in empirical way so uh, uh the sky wave propagation model is uh, the uh, collection of ino uh, ionization layer plus isotropic layers these two layers whenever they are combined they becomes or they are known as sky waves layers and the propagation is taking place in in these two layers are known as sky wave propagation model when we are uh, involved when we are involved in this specific environmental uh, effect so such type of model are attenuate your propagated signals so having the name environmental attenuation model when the transmission are in the form of line of sight that is known as point to point propagation so this point to point propagation is also known as face to face propagation point to point point to point propagation and another thing is natural uh, environmental uh, effects also be taking in a our outdoor modeling this is called the drain natural geel mountains river and balcony see this is a terrain so terrain is a by natural made things and it is distributed 
in all uh, earth surface over a all uh, places unequally so <clears throat> we need a other types of model that is the city model when the data is collected from different different cities then we are having a in a uh, field to know what is the our next predictions uh, to help to design the specific type of the receivers so the importance of your radio waves propagation is propagation studies eliminate gases work because they they rely on the scientific methodology by corporate corporating the propagation modeling as part of our analysis of process and utilities can use the information to condently employ the most efficient planning available to control the cost and performance it is account for performance goal of the utilities growth expectations and unique length use the issues <clears throat> the drawback of this radio propagation model is since the propagation models are created using statistical methods no single model will exactly fit in any particular applications they can be only used in the parameter ranges include in the original measurement sets so the environments classified as uh, urban can have the different meaning in the different countries so model need to acquire a good input data in the uh, especially in the case of terrain models and the empirical models are used with the great success but the deterministic physical or you can say the random physical models are increasingly applied to improve your accuracy glossary means uh, you having the uh, certain meanings which are using in wireless mobile communication were in the terms of area types so uh, the area is divided into urban area sub urban area and open urban areas are those area in wireless communication is build up city or you can say the large town they having the uh, lot of population a crowded area with the large number of buildings and two or more stories houses and this tall buildings are human made buildings or in a large village closely uh, interspread with the chain of houses and thickly grown tall Uh, trees the such type of area is uh, uh, are say urban area uh, the sub urban areas like villages or near to highway uh, scattered with the trees and houses uh, the area which are near to close the industrial areas area having some stuckle near the your uh, moving radio car but still not very congested so as compared to urban area the population of in uh, sub urban area are having very 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 uh, less the crowd are uh, more in urban area so it is very dense area uh, most of the uh, business time the uh, crowd will play a important role to sharing or uh, distributing the your information during the transmission and receiving 
receive uh, receiver so uh, the third types of area is known as open area there is no obstacle like tall trees or buildings your concrete jungles they are no, uh, they are actually uh, not uh, built in this open area so the uh, no obstacle like tall trees or buildings in the propagation path so the plot of this land which is uh, cleared of anything uh, around 300 to 400 meter ahead such as instant yeah is or you say for uh, farmland or rice fields or uh, this is the open fields <clears throat> uh, another thing is uh, in glossary is the antenna gain it is related uh, to directly to the intensity of your antenna in a given direction to the intensity that would be produced by hypothetical ideal antenna that actually radiate equally in all directions so the when the signals are propagated in all directions such type of antennas is called isotropically antenna and they having the no loss so they having the unique gain that is g of transmitter and g of receiver is equal to 1 from the formula gain is equal to 4 pi radiated in send, uh, intensity to the antenna input power so you can say uh, this is uh, given by your uh, uh, formula like uh, you can say 4 pi of d square divided by power of transmitter antenna it is only valid in isotropic so that is power density it is the power density and that is given by w transmitted power to the area so the transmitted power area is 4 pi r square here the distances in separation so it is the 4 pi of d that area in a circular form so uh, and uh, the it is this surface area of your transmission and the size of cells is three types macro cells micro cells and pico cells to so micro uh, macro cells of the networks uh, sizes are as compared to mic micro is large it having the values of around 1 to 20 km macro cellular network and the size of micro cell uh, in cellular network having the cell size uh, 
of 400 meters to 2 kilometers and the pico smaller cells the uh, like pico cellular net means uh, you having the uh, this uh, hot spot and to connect the uh, another device with the help of this hot spot and uh, after that they're having the some certain types of chain such type of cellular net is called pico cellular nets or either it is connected by hot spot or bluetooth so such network are having a very small range that range is around 4 to 200 meters only in a case of bluetooth it is having the only 10 meters the field strength uh, it is the magnitude of the received electromagnetic field which will be excite a receiving antenna and thereby induce a voltage at a specific frequency to provide an input signal to the to your uh, radio receiver uh, for the application such as cellular broadcasting and the variety of the other radio related applications so another glossary is the path loss it is the reduction in the power density it is the reduction of it is the reduction in the power density power density path loss it is a reduction in power density attenuation of electromagnetic waves uh, as to propagate through space that is given by l and it is calculated in dv so uh, taking the logarithmic so tan and log d plus c where n is the path loss exponent d is the separation distance between the transmitter and receiver c is the uh, constant that account for the system losses So, uh, outdoor propagation model uh, propagation over a irregular drain. So, whenever the irregular drain, natural uh, specific environmental effects are uh, taking place, then we are producing the outdoor propagation model. The in this propagation model. Uh, the predicting signal strength is very, very widely their capacity, approach, and accuracy. Uh, as you know, Longley Rice model, which is also known as irregular drain model. So it is also called ITS. In this model, the frequency ranges is 40 megahertz to 100 gigahertz it's having the two version one is for the point to point using the terrain profile and when we are uh, having the version uh, uh, in the field of area mode then it estimate the path specific parameters our uh, akorva models are uh, having the uh, specific uh, uh, set of curves which is giving the medium attenuation related to the free space in the urban and over a quasi uh, smooth drain. So the L50 dB is the 50th percentile that is the median value of propagation path loss between transmitter and receiver expressed in dB. LF is the function is the free space propagation loss in dv amq 
of uh, F and D parameters. So AMU FD is the medium attenuations relative to free space additional losses in dv due to propagation in urban environment when the transmitter or receiver at reference heights and this g of h of te it is the base station antenna height gain factor in dv h of g h r e it is the mobile antenna height gain factor it is also calculated in dv and g area the gain due to type of drain in dv so uh, this this is the figure uh, which is actually taken from the your repa port book and uh, it is uh, uh, having the three axis one is x axis that is the frequency uh, calculated in f megahertz it having the two vertical axis this is the first axis which is 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 scale and it is uh, the medium attenuation a m u f of d dv and inside this this uh, vertical axis is the separation distance in kilometer and it having the scale 1 2 5 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 or 100 and it goes up to frequency ranges when it is 1 uh, km and the frequencies is started from 10 70 100 200 300 500 700 1000 uh, 2000 and 3000 so in a 1 km it is about Uh, goes to three mega, three thousand megahertz. When uh, your uh, distances is two kilometer, the frequencies ranges to hundred to three thousand uh, megahertz. So when we drop the slope on this line, we getting the actual uh, uh, actual uh, value of your. G H of T, G H of uh, R E, and G H of uh, R E. So uh, a Korma path loss model. <clears throat> Now another. Um, graph is in between the frequency and the correlation factor ga area in dv it is divided into the three area one is open area second is quasi open area and third is sub urban area and uh, the scaling is frequency in megahertz 100 megahertz 200 300 500 700 1000 2000 and 3000 megahertz and in y axis correlation factor is started from 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 wow. and here you can see the same scale in urban area h of t is 200 meter is uh, given and h of r that is the height of the receiver is 3 meter so uh, basic medium attenuation amu uh if we uh, taking uh, this graph so it is the model additional propagation losses due to signal propagation with this uh, referred conditions when terrestrial urban environmental over a quasi smooth terrain and when the base station effective antenna height h of t is 200 meter and mobile antenna height is r equal to 3 meter and another thing is the if the actual height of transmitter receiver uh, or the propagation area type differ from those reference then we having the appropriate correction needed to be added so uh, 
likewise uh, we having the formula korma profile l50 dv is equal lf plus amu f comma d minus g h of effective antenna height gain factor of transmitter and effective gain factor of antenna height of receiver and g area this is the our korma equation number 1 and this is the akorma path loss equation akumura akumura path loss H of H of T E is equal to twenty log of H of R E to two hundred. the range is 1000 meter to 30 meter and for effective height of gain antenna of receiver factor is given by h of g h of r e is equal to it having the two values at 10 log h of r e divided by 3 and at 20 log h of effective height antenna gain factor is 20 log h of r e divided by 3 h h of r e is less than is equal to 3 meter and 10 meter to 3 meter h of r e <laughs> so you can see this a korma model is wholly based on uh, 
the measure data and there is no provision for the analytical uh, explanations so a karma model is considered to be among the simplest and best in terms of accuracy in path loss prediction and it is very practical and has become a standard for system planning in modern land mobile radio uh, systems in japan and there is the one disadvantages over a akurma model is the slow response to rapid changes in deranges therefore the model is good in only in urban and sub urban area but not good as in rural area so uh, see the one problem on this topic find the medium median median path loss using using Akumura Akumuras Akumuras Akumura a Cora model for D is equal to fifty kilometer and height of transmitter 100 meter higher height of receiver 10 meter in a sub r1 sub r1 in one sub r1 environment if the if the base station if the base station base station transmitter radiates radiates as E 
आर पी ऑफ वन किलोवाइट एट ए कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ट्स फाइंड पीआरपी MDVM and the and the power at the receiver where 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 again at receiving antenna receiving antenna in antenna is 10 tv so first of all let us what is given given that distance this 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 सेपरेशन डिस्टेंस इज फिफ्टी किलोमीटर फिफ्टी किलोमीटर हाइट ऑफ गिवन इफेक्टिव हाइट ऑफ ट्रांसमीटर इज हंड्रेड मीटर इफेक्टिव हाइट ऑफ रिसीवर टेन टेन मीटर ई आर पी ई आर पी ई आर पी इज इक्वल वन किलो वॉट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इक्वल नाइन हंड्रेड मेगा हॉर्स एंड 
gain of receiving antenna g of r is 10 d this data is given in the question now write up the equation of a kurma path loss l50 dv is equal to lf plus amu of f comma d minus g of effective height of the transmitter gain factor effective height of the receiver gain factor and area g e r a so the first of all our requirement is to calculate lf free space path loss that is lf free space space path loss lf is equal to minus 10 log minus 10 log lambda square to the 4 pi whole square d cos square putting the values of all these parameters where lambda is c upon f that is 3 into 10 ki power 8 frequency is 900 into 10 ki power 6 so it is 3 by 9 10 Nine hundred and two 
टेन टू पावर सिक्स की पावर टू पाई की वैल्यू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर का होल स्क्वायर सेपरेशन डिस्टेंस इज फिफ्टी इंटू वन थाउजेंड टेन की पावर थ्री एंड दिस इज अराउंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव From the Akurma curve. From the Akurma curve. A M M U at nine hundred megahertz. Fifty. How you calculate this value? फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड रेंज इज फिफ्टीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्रॉ द परपेंडिकुलर ऑन ए फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ एम एच देन ड्रॉ दर्पेंडिकुलर ऑन ए मीडियम इट इज कटिंग हेयर वैल्यू इज फोर्टी थ्री सो एम यू इज At nine hundred megahertz to fifteen kilometer separation distance between transmitter and receiver is forty three dV. So, value is forty three dV. From the Akorma graph. अच्छा भैया. अब calculate the G. एरिया 
from G area is 9 dB under the frequency of 900 mega hertz. So from the graph, we have calculated the values of G area from the Y axis. We have first of draw the uh, perpendicular on some urban area curve. And from here to drop another perpendicular on the scale of G area dB. So it is cut air nine, so value is nine dB. Now put the values of this A. 9 dB. So, using the question G H of T E is equal to to consider height of uh, uh, transmitted and effective antenna is 100 meter. So 100 meter is lies in this range. So we are taking this equation 20 log h of t divided by 200. 20 log h of Twenty log H of T is hundred meter. H of T is hundred divided by two hundred zero zero cut here zero. Oh yeah, yeah, point five. Minus six dB. G height R is ten meter. So ten meter is lies in this equation. In this equation, it is less than three meter. It is ten to this. So we are taking this equation twenty log h of r e divided by three. Twenty log 
tan y g is equal to tan point tan point four six Ooh, ooh. So using using equation for the total mean path total mean path loss L F A M U F comma D minus gain factor at antenna height transmitter minus gain of antenna height okay. receiver gain of area. Put all the calculated values. in this formula for free space we are calculating 125.5 dv on 25.5 plus amu is 43 dv and evm dvm gain of minus 6 it is 6 minus minus 6 dv minus Ten point four six dv, and last minus nine. So 
it is coming 155.0 Yes. Received power at distance. ERP DVM minus L fifty DVM plus gain of receiver in DV. This is unknown. Now calculate E I R P E I R P is given in DVM conversion in DV at 10 log EIRP milliwatt to 1 milliwatt that is 10 log of ERP ERP is this 1 kilowatt is n log n ki power minus 3 upar jayega positive it become positive so you can write 10 to power 6 so that is 10 into 6 log 10 so it around 60 So the same power. We have ERP fifty DV
plus n of ERP is 60 TVM. Or L50 is 150.04 dB. 155.4 dB plus dr dr is 10 dB. So value is minus 85.4 dBm. Mm, the drawback of a Kurma model is based on measured data. There is no analytical explanation. In certain cases, causes can be X. So thank you very much.